Hi, my name is Amber Honick, and for my final project, I program Sudoku. So this is the start screen for my program. As you can see, you can either click to see the direction screen by clicking this button right here, or one of the three themes, that, and by clicking one of these, um, it will bring you to the game screen, and the game will automatically begin. Uh, but we're going to click on the direction screen. So at the top, um, it kind of explains some of the rules of Sudoku. Um, under to play game, it gives you some of the controls of the game. Um, and then to win game, that kind of explains what you need to do in order to win this game on my program. Um, and then below, you still have the three buttons in order to start to play the game. Um, so I'm going to click on the blue theme button. Um, and so as you can see, this brings you to the game stream, screen. And then at the top, as soon as I clicked on the button, the timer automatically begins um, counting up and um, that will continue counting until the game is finished. Um, to play the game, you can click on an empty uh, box and then press the number key that you would like to input into that box. Um, if the number that you pressed is not the correct number, you will see incorrect number pop up right down here. And um, the strikes, will one will be added to your strike total. So to show you that, I'm going to um, type in an incorrect number. So I'm going to press the one key, um, which is incorrect. So as you can see, incorrect number pops up down here and strikes, one was added to strikes. Um, and so then I can press again, press a different number or select a different box so I can jump around or click off of it. Um, so I'm going to fill in the game board to show you what the ending screen would look like. Okay, so as you can see, I completed the board in 2 minutes and 29 seconds. Um, this would fit better. I'm in remote desktop right now, um, which is why the words don't exactly fit on the screen. My All of my program was based on the computers at school, so it'd look a little better if I were at school on one of the computers there. Um, but as you can see, I can press the spacebar to play again. As I'm sure you know, remote desktop does not allow that to happen, um, but it would happen on the school computers by clicking the space bar and it just reloaded another board. Um, but I'm going to restart the game to get another board. Okay, here's my other board. Um, so I'm just going to click on the black mode this time. So as you can see, the timer started again, and I'm back to zero strikes. Um, and so I'm just going to lose the game this time to show you what the screen would look like if a user were to um, lose the game. So I'm going to press the one key um, five times in this box. And as you can see, my strikes are going up. And once I hit five strikes, the game ends. And this is what it looks like when the loser the user loses the game um and they can also press the space bar again to play again um and that will reload another board so this is my sudoku game and i hope you enjoy it thank you for watching